Hi everybody, I am Paul also from www.c4d.cz and I would like to show you a very nice procedure how to generate a nice looking animated background. A short story behind the tutorial. My very good friend uh, has uh, a special question to me. He has asked if can Cinema 4D generate a similar effect to what's in this picture. So the question is, how do I generate an effect like this in Cinema 4D? Okay, you will see it's not so complicated, also it's a very nice technique. And very useful of course. It works really well as you can see. Okay, let's start. First, prepare a new scene. And create a new parametrical polygon object here. Select the object and adjust the settings. Activate the triangle option. It will generate a triangle, then adjust the height. I want to achieve an equilateral triangle, meaning all its size will be equal. So I will set a value of 86.6 here. Change the choose and display settings, use shading with lines and adjust the segments value here. Use a very high value. Okay, it looks nice to me, it's good enough. And I will convert the object to an editable state. Use polygon mode and select a polygon, any polygon you want. Use the right mouse button and choose disconnect command. This is very important. Invert the current selection, select all others and use the same command like before, but click to a small cogwheel icon instead of the command name. It will open a dialog window and uncheck the preserve groups options as here. It's very important because every polygon of the selection will be disconnected from each other. We can test it. Select any polygon you want and move it up. It should be disconnected. We can freely move it up or down and it does not affect its neighbors. So the last step is very important because we will deform the surface we made. So and each polygon of the object will be deformed independently and its points will be moved vertically only. Okay. Uh, use uh, the display def uh, deformer and place as a shell of the polygon object. Press the shift key and choose the displacer. Set the object and go to its attributes manager settings. Change the use intensity value first and continue the shading tab and load a noise shader here. Okay, but object's points aren't moved randomly as we need. The surface was continuous because the shader uses a wrong operational method. And the object itself has a still unchanged UV mesh as well, so we will change them of course. First, select the use shader and change the space value here. Use the UV mode here. And we can scale the noise shader down a bit. Okay, that's all. And uh, we have to change the UV mesh of the object now. Because uh, the trick can work without that. Okay, change the current layout and use body paint with the UV edit layout instead. Done. Select the object, use the UV mesh polygon mode. Uh, in case uh, the object UV mesh isn't shown, the drag and drop the UV tick to the texture window. Select all polygons of the object, use UV mapping manager, choose the optimal mapping tab and activate the line settings. We can leave both options they are, just change the spacing between islands we will generate. Use uh, 0.2 for instance and apply. It will take some time. Done. It's much better than before and our polygons are moved randomly as you can see. That it is, because the object mesh is fully disconnected and the displacer affects polygons independently. Ok, that's all. Go back and let's continue by creating a new camera object. Set the camera and change its projection. Use parallel projection. And be sure the camera is still selected and align it. Uh, set the H angle to 0 and set the P angle to minus 90. Perfect, and activate the camera and go a bit closer. Yes, it's the effect I want to achieve. It already works, as you can see. And we can easily animate it as well. Ok, so the displacer, open the noise settings and increase an animation speed here. Adjust this value and play the animation. It's an awesome effect. Ok, that's all. Just create a new material, apply it to the object and let's create a simple light and this light will counter a shading of the animated effect we made. Rotate the light and the angle controls the 
illumination effect of course okay and that's really all well, let's say it should be a mask and we can colorize it afterwards uh, we can use um, after effects or a different application it's really up to you but we got pretty nice effect already and nobody say, says we can colorize it here directly uh, the easiest way is uh, set the surface color to pure white and colorize the light source we have anyway the effect is done as we said okay thank you for watching and see you at www.c4d.cz